Welcome to my tutorial in Adobe Photoshop CS5. Uh, in this video, I'm going to show you how to do some 3D rendering. Um, if you don't have the window open over here, you can come to Window and select 3D. And this is our 3D panel right here. I'm going to take my first logo and we're going to create ourselves. Let's create ourselves a donut. Um, that's one of the pre render shapes we have here. And I'm going to base it on the layer. And I'm going to select 3D shape, and then I'm going to select, um, I think it's called, yep, yeah, it's called donut, that makes sense. Select donut. And we have ourselves a donut. Over here, you can adjust the camera angle, so you can rotate the object. This tool over here, we can actually select the, um, the object, it's called the object pan tool and we can move around the object I come over here and I believe this one is called the slide it's a slide of 3D object and we can zoom in zoom out, zoom out on it so there's various things you can do with the uh, 3D object or the 3D options in um, Photoshop CS5 if I come over here to the next logo I'm going to select it and let's create, um, let's see, let's create a wine bottle. And you can see my logo is wrapped around the wine bottle. Um, these are just like interesting objects to create, you know, it, it's kind of like a novelty because, you know, when will you need a wine bottle or I think another option is like a hat or something. But I'll give you an example where you can actually mess around with this and if you notice over here, you can actually um, adjust the colors. I just changed the cork to an aqua color and we come over here to the, the material of the label. So there's various things you can do there but let me give you a situation where you might want to use this um, besides um, one of the other unique objects. Over here we can actually uh, select let's select a cube now this is something where you can actually uh, you know find useful because in a lot of situations uh, if you're illustrating um, you know you will have specific objects that you need that are basic shapes whether it be a sphere or a cube or something to that effect when it's actually uh, 3d rendering you know you want to go back to your basic shapes you know, how often will you need a wine bottle? Probably not that often, but for these kind of shapes, um, it is useful and it'll probably save you a lot of time. So when you look at the uh, object over here, and I can rotate it, and it's a box. But let me come over here and I'm gonna select a different cube. And it's called Cube Warp. I'm gonna create that. And now you see the logo went on all the sides of the cube. And I'm just going to give you an example where we can actually show you the depth of the um, illustration here. And this is something I used to do back in college when I used to have a project. Especially when they would ask us to illustrate us um, a simple object. I would illustrate an object and we didn't have this rendering, this you know pre-rendered um, option here. Um, but what I would do is I would just make a simple background. I'll come to the blending options and we could throw in a drop shadow. And you can mess around with it. But it gives you an idea of just how you can be creative in Photoshop and you don't necessarily need to have every, you know, illustration point down as far as when you're working with the software. I know a lot of people are intimidated by um, working with Photoshop or Illustrator because they say they can't draw. Um, well, let me just tell you something. One of the first illustrations I did um, in college, um, they asked us to illustrate something. I took my Mach 3 razor back then and I just looked at it and on the computer I was able to draw the lines 
and um, you know what, I'll probably include a link in the description and show you guys that. But I was able to draw the razor and on the computer I was able to add all the, the filters and the options I wanted um, to make it look realistic and I think that's where people um, who don't necessarily uh, draw that well by hand could um, you know benefit from something like this and this is done in two seconds you know or a couple minutes or whatever um, but that's about it that's the 3d uh, rendering option in Photoshop CS5 let me know what you think about it do you like this option do you think it's dumb do you think it's good and that's it I'll see you next video cheers